Okay. Hey, Nick. How are you? I'm a little late. I was having some internet issues, so took some troubleshooting on my end, but I'm here. I'm here. I made it. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How was your uh, weekend? Hey, Fox Nation. <laughs> Coming in second. What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Fox Nation. Have you been here before? Was your name something else? Hey, Mr. B. I got your message. Um, I was like trying to troubleshoot some stuff to get my internet working. Something strange happened. Like as I was setting up, um, my internet went out. So it took some uh, troubleshooting and some unplugging and plugging back in. But I made it, even though I'm late. But I'm but I am here. So. Um, so yeah, I was out all day, so I know I owe you a chat, Mr. B, because I want to know what you think about the game. I'm good, Fox Nation. I'm good. This video is unavailable. What do you mean this video is unavailable? Oh, well, welcome back, Fox. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I have a bruise on my knee. I have a bruise. I fell down. I fell down, so I have, a, I have a bruise on my knee. Um, what do you mean this video is unavailable? How is the video unavailable if you're commenting? Let me see. Let me log into my YouTube and see what's happening. Um, Mr. B, I wanted to ask you, are you watching Lost in Space? Are you watching that? If not, I would love for you to watch it so we can talk about it. Hey, Ms. Notch, what's going on? What's up? Oh, you're trying to find a job. Damn, that's rough. Well, I, ho I hope you find something soon, Nick. I hope you find something soon. All right, let me see. It should be available. I'm looking at it right now on my iPad. I'm looking at it on my iPad, so I don't know. I don't know what, what the deal is, but I it looks like I'm available. Looks like this video is available because I'm looking at it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't um, online first on PlayStation, so maybe you fell asleep. What? You fell asleep watching Lost in Space? You didn't like it? Maybe you just were already tired, Miss Notch. I'm really liking it. I've, I've watched um, two episodes of it. I'm really enjoying it. You know, it's a different take. It's, you know, it's um, a modern take. I like it. I like it so far. I know, Fox. I do need to be more careful. Like, I stepped off a curb. I stepped off a curb last week. And I don't even know what happened, but I stepped off a curb, and then I just, like, went down. So I got, like, a bruise on my hip. I um, got this bruise on my knee, and I skinned this knee. Like, this knee has, like, the scab has come off now, but this was a scab, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chaos. You're gonna try, yeah. Rewatch it, Miss Notch. Like when you're when you're like up and alert, rewatch it because I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I I was I didn't know what to expect. I mean I didn't really have any expectations honestly as as far as that um, TV series is concerned. It seemed like an interesting concept, but everything is a reboot now, you know. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. They make a lot of, they make a lot of. Um, bad choices, I will say, but, you know, I guess they have to do something to create drama. If they played it safe, it would be boring. Um, I am always hurting myself chaos, and this was just weird and random. Like, I literally was walking, stepped off the curb, and, like, splatted out in the middle of the street. Fall prone, you are. I have a terrible Yoda, but yes, I am fall prone. I am. I had hoped this bruise would be, like, healed up by now. It was bigger than this. It was bigger than this. I had on leggings. I fell down in my leggings. I didn't I didn't break my leggings though. I just broke my skin, but not my leggings. My leggings survived. They survived. They survived the fall. <laughs> hey scoops. Another TKO. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I I lost to the sidewalk. I lost to the New York City street. What's going on? What is 
up. What is going on? Oh, thank you, Fox. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah, I'm down to see Jurassic World. I'm I'm really behind in my movies right now. I still haven't seen Ready Player One yet, and I'm very ashamed that I haven't. I've just been busy. I've been busy with work. I had um, you know family in town this past weekend, so I, I really haven't had a chance to um, do anything for myself. So yes, the leggings are okay. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, the leggings survived. You finished a butchery school. Oh, no. Nick, I'm vegetarian. No. Well, I hope you find a job, even though you're going to be, like, cutting poor little animals. <laughs> Sidewalk always wins. Sidewalk does not always win, but it, went, it, won, it won last week for sure. Yeah, I read the book, Miss Notch. Like, it was, it's one of my favorite books that I've read, like, recent books that I've read. Um, I read it some years ago, and I really, really enjoyed the book. I'm a little apprehensive about how the movie's going to be since I read the book. I heard that if you had read the book, that, um, like, one friend of mine was like, he read the book, but he probably would have liked the movie more if he had not read the book. So, I don't know. I don't know. You like eating healthy, too. Yeah, I don't always eat healthy. I don't always eat I'm drinking a green juice right now. Um, I don't always eat healthy, though. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna pretend that I always eat healthy, because I don't. <clears throat> but I do try. I try, I try to, I try to not eat really crazy, stupid stuff, but sometimes I can't help it. I ate um, some pizza today with no cheese. <laughs> with no cheese. It was basically crust, sauce, and some mushrooms. It was a good movie. Okay. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it, and I have to watch it in the theater. I definitely will watch it in the theater. I just haven't had a chance to yet. What? <laughs> Mr. B. Justin, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, what did I do today? I had an appointment. I had an appointment this afternoon that I went to. And then after my appointment, I went to the bar and I had a few beers. And this bar um, that I go to sometimes, they give you free pizza. Like you get beer or whatever at the bar. And you get free pizza. So they asked me if I wanted some free pizza. And I was like, nah, I don't want any pizza because I'm not eating any cheese right now. Um, you want to cheat and get pizza, do it. But so I asked them, I was like, well, can you make me a pizza with no cheese? So they made me a pizza with just, just bread and sauce and mushrooms. That was it. Yeah, I did. But I don't really count it as pizza, though, chaos, because there was no cheese on it. There was no cheese. It was just bread and sauce and mushrooms. It was good bread, though. But they give you this little pizza. It's like this big. And it's free. It's free pizza. It's like a whole like little personal personal uh, wood-fired pizza. It's good. It was pizza with no cheese. I know. I know, Miss Notch. I felt bad ordering it. Like, I really did. I felt, I felt a little convicted ordering some pizza with no cheese. I'm like, I'm going to be that girl. Like, why do I have to be that person to order the pizza with no cheese on it? But I did it. I was like, you know what? I don't care. So I did it. Pizza with no cheese. What's going on, Justin? <clears throat> Yeah, I had work on last Thursday, so I know I didn't see you guys on Thursday. I had um, some stuff to do for work, and then I had to run around because I had family coming in town on Friday. So um, I really thought I was going to come back and stream and say hi to you guys, but it didn't happen. So, But you see me now. I love cheese. That's the problem, Miss Notch. I love, love, love cheese. I love cheese. Hey, Donut. Um, I love cheese, but like I did this... Uh, juice cleanse last week and I feel really good right now like bread and tomato sauce no bueno it is it is I love cheese 
I love cheese, but when I eat cheese, I always feel really gross when I eat it. And um, so I've been eating vegan like these past, the past, I don't know, like the past week I've been eating vegan. So I haven't had any eggs. I haven't had any cheese either. I don't know how long that's going to last, but I feel really good like not eating it. Like, I feel good, like, my body feels good not eating that stuff. I love fruit. Love fruit. I know it's not a pizza with, with without cheese. I know. I know. But I did it, and it was good. I enjoyed it. I feel gross. Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so you can do the math on that. You can do the math on that. But just other, you know, like, my skin is better. My, um breathing and like mucus and my sinuses are better not not eating uh, cheese like my stomach feels better not eating cheese I know they didn't have anything like that though uh, chaos they didn't have any my grocery store has cashew cheese um, so I will try some I definitely will try some but this this you know the free pizza at this bar and they're not going to give you any 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 options like that you about to order a pizza with cheese. Hey, Dean, what's going on? Joseph, the assassin. What is up? What's up? What's up? John! What's going on, y'all? I should make it from scratch? I don't know about that. My cousin is vegan, and she was a raw vegan for a, a long time, and she had this business and she was doing stuff like that. Like she was making like her own cheeses and stuff. I don't have patience for that. I can make cashew milk. That's about it. That's about it. You're going to order pizza and watch The Last Jedi. That sounds like a good night. I'm drinking slime. No, it's um, it's just raw juice. Microscopic Friends is what, is what it's called. It's Microscopic Friends. It has E3 live cultures, kale, spinach, celery, cucumber, apple, and parsley. Yeah, you know, like, once you start cutting things out, Miss Notch, like, once you start cutting things out, like, you realize, you're like, wow, like, I feel, like, much better, like, not eating this. And it's, it's like, I always, like, have to be reminded of that. That's one of the reasons why I do juice cleanses is because it kind of, you know, I was eating some junk. I was eating, like, a lot of pasta and cheese and, and, and heavy starches and sweets and all that stuff. Um, it was good, Justin. It was good. We had a good time. This weekend in New York was amazing. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, John. Oh, that's awesome. So I hope that means I'll see you around more often than... <laughs> no more dropping one comment and I'm gone. <laughs> My butt shoots. It is not, Mr. B. It is not. Vegan is too hard to follow. I, I agree with you on that, Miss Notch. Like, you know... I don't mind eating eggs. Like, if somebody gives me a cupcake, like, I'm going to eat the hell out of that. I don't see myself, like, not eating that or eating, you know, something that has eggs in it just because, like, I'm trying to prove a point. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not that deep into it, but I feel like if I can eat vegan enough, then that's good enough, you know? Felicia has her own vegan restaurant? Seriously? Huh, man, jalapeno cheese, man, pepper jack cheese is one of my favorite things. I love pepper jack cheese. I love it. You're trying to learn how to cook meat. You don't know how to cook meat. You're, you're a butcher. You're a butcher. You have to be able to cook meat. Hey, Talis. Oh, okay. You're trying to learn so you can tell them how to cook it. Gotcha. I have to have my veggies though. I have to have my veggies. How do I feel about the Han Solo movie? Alkaline electric diet. No, I have not heard of that. I don't really go for like fad diets and things like that. I just try and like eat the way I eat. Um, really, Miss Notch? I've been vegetarian, I think, for like seven years now. Heal the body and stuff? I don't know. I mean, like, alkaline water and all that. I don't know if I believe that. Like, it, it comes down to the pH, and water has neutral pH anyway. So I kind of feel like that's a bit of bunk, honestly. Um, cook meat, pound it, throw it on the grill. Uh, the Han Solo movie. I did not watch the last trailer intentionally. 
I'm excited for it though. I'm excited for it. I did watch um, one of the trailers, but the very last trailer that came out, I didn't watch it. Like I get to a point, I get to a point where, um, where I feel like they show too much in trailers. So I stopped watching the trailers. I stopped watching movie trailers, you know, especially if it's a movie I know I'm going to go see, like I don't need to be convinced. So, um, so I don't know. I love the casting. I love the casting for the Han Solo movie, but as far as like plot points and all that stuff, John, I really am like reserving judgment until I actually see uh, the film. But I love uh, Donald Glover as uh, Lando, Lando Calrissian. Uh, okay, see you later, uh, KS. It is, Miss Notch. Like doing a juice cleanse is what um, like. Uh, gave me the springboard into being vegetarian to begin with. Hey, music mode. Poconos. Yeah, I've heard of the Poconos. <laughs> you only saw one preview and you're going to leave it like that. So you don't you don't like the way it looks, John. I take that to mean you're not really feeling it. See, that's what I like about it, Mr. V. I like the cult aspect of it. I like the cult aspect of it. Did you play any more, uh, any other Far Cry 5s? What's good? Am I still into music? Yeah, that's my job, music mode. I'm still into music. I'm still into music. I'm still, um, you know, I'm still working as a singer. Right now, it's like my um, slow season in the city. You had a beat for me? I haven't really been writing that much lately. I did write something. I did write something, but... Um, Uh-oh, I missed it. Mr. Metz, what's up? What's up to you from New York? You believe we need to eat all foods? I don't believe we need to eat all foods. I think that we have exactly what we need. Like, if you think about it, you eat you eat meat, right? But the animals eat vegetables. So why not just cut out the middle man or the middle animal and eat your eat your veggies? But I do think that, you know, everything we need is on the planet. I do agree that. You're on a boat fishing. I'm so jealous, Dean. I am so jealous. Oh, it's your first time playing Far Cry. Cool, cool, cool. 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 We got to do something. Gotcha. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you're, you know, you're doing your whole, your music thing and stuff, music mode. Uh, Mr. Metz, did you send me a message telling me who you are? I'm not really accepting a lot of friend requests right now, honestly. Um, but if you send me a message, like I have a lot of friend requests where people don't say anything and I don't know who anyone is. You yeah, know? Um, I'm sorry, I missed a couple comments. Oh, John says, I like the way it looks. I don't want to see a lot of the movie on trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought Rogue One was going to suck. Yeah, you know, like, I like to, you know, I'm I'm a Star Wars fan, so I'm kind of like, I think I'll, I'll, en I'll get enjoyment out of it uh, anyway, you know. Um... You say too much. Well, it has like a cult. We're talking about Far Cry 5. And Far Cry 5, this is the first Far Cry that's um, set in the U.S., in the United States. And it's this whole like religious cult thing. I think it's fascinating. And I think it's very interesting. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. Music mode, we can we can talk offline. I'm not really accepting any outside projects right now, honestly. I, I still feel the same way I feel about it when you first asked me. Um, so yeah, so I, I kind of feel I kind of feel the same way. And right now, like this point, like in my career, I don't really do anything that I don't really want to do. So um, so I don't want to give you a price and and all of that. I'm sorry. Slept on the boat two days. Man, you know, I've never caught a striper. I always wanted to go striper fishing. 
like where I'm from in Virginia, um, you know, when striper season comes, people, you know, do striper fishing and stuff. I've never, I've never caught a striper, not one I could keep anyway, you know. Uh, they do have co-op. They do have a uh, co-op. It's like a two-person co-op for Far Cry 5. I don't know if they have any other modes. Justin, do they have any other modes? <laughs> Solve the riddle. Yay. Hey, Mad Dog. What's up? Yeah, you get a free song on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, John. And my jeans on. Like, I was running around today. I was running around today, and then I, I rushed home and turned on the PlayStation, and it would not work. Like, I could not get online for anything. I don't know. Something was wrong with my internet. And I kept trying different things and couldn't get it to work. I thought there was just an outage. There's, there might have been an outage for a short period of time. But I was late. Late. Yeah, Dean, that's, that's crazy. That is crazy. Those, those The fish you caught are huge. Oh, co-op and P I haven't played any of the PvP. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did get that. You did get the happy birthday with me dressed as a succubus. That's funny. Hey, two star. What's up? What's up? I feel a little conflicted like when I fish because I, I really do love fishing. Like I grew up fishing. Um, I consider myself like a fisherman, you know, and I grew up fishing like with my grand, with my grand, my grandfather and my mom and my aunt, like all the women in my family um, fish. They all fish, and when I became vegetarian, I felt a little conflicted because, like, when we catch the fish, we don't catch and release. Like, we catch them, we put them on ice, and then they get dragged through some cornmeal and thrown in some hot grease with some cornbread. Like, that's that's how we roll, you know. Um, it's snowing, Dean. It seemed like it was like feeling snowy. Hey, Thomas, 126 pounds. What? You should try it, Justin. You should try it. Oh, hey, Nate. Ah, okay. Well, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming in and just saying hi and bye. Um, ew, seafood. Seafood is good. Seafood is good. But I, I justify it because I know my family eats eats the fish. So I'm like, well, if I catch it, like I know they'll eat it and they'll enjoy it. So I can still get some enjoyment out of fishing, but. I do still feel a little weird about it. I feel bad for the fish, which is crazy. I never really thought I'd feel bad for for fish, but but I do. What's up? Real? You having a rough start? No! I reject rough starts. No, no rough starts. No rough starts. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're here though. We can brighten your day. I know I'm a fish killer. I'm a fish killer. I feel I feel bad about it. I feel bad about it. But then I see the joy on my on my like mom's face and my dad's face as they crunch into their fried uh, fish. Man, I do miss sushi. Um, donut in Virginia. The th like I've caught flounder before. Flounder are like few and far between. But there's a lot of like croaker and spot fishing down there. Um, so that's mostly, that's mostly what we catch. Those and these things called mud toads. We call them mud toads. I don't know what they're called, but, um, but yeah, but yeah, they're, um, these disgusting fish that get thrown, thrown back. They have like a gazillion teeth in their mouth. They look really, really disgusting and terrifying. And they have like these lumps on their head and stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, I never cleaned them either, Miss Notch. And even when I was eating fish, like for a really long time, I stopped eating like beef and pork and I was just eating fish and chicken, but I wouldn't clean them either. Like somebody else always had to uh, clean the fish. Somebody else always had to clean them. But yeah, but like mostly spot, croaker, um, 
is what I'm used to catching anyway. Every once in a while a flounder, but a lot of times the flounder you can't keep. Sometimes you might get like a bass, um, but it's mostly, you know, I do saltwater fishing. Yellowfin tuna fishing, those things are huge. Those things are huge. That's like deep sea fishing. That's really cool, Dean. That's really cool. Like, I would love to be able to do that once. But catching something that big, I would feel really bad. I know I would feel bad. Like, when I, like, the fish I catch are like this big. And catfish. I, I catch catfish too. Um, in the, in the river. Like, I'll catch catfish. Um, but yeah, like, the fish I catch, you know, are usually like around like this size, I think. Like, around like this size. You know, they're decent sized fish. Like, one person can eat. You know, one of those fish. You're even to the point you feel bad putting the worm on the hook? Really? I don't feel bad putting the worm on the hook. I do not feel bad putting the worm on the hook. And sometimes I'll, you know, we'll cut up like some squid and put those on there if we're trying to like catch something larger. <clears throat> Mud toes. She tasted like chicken but smelled like a fish. <laughs> Damn, two stars. I've never been fly fishing. I have never been fly fishing. Hours to bring tuna in. Good money. So once you get the tuna in, you don't keep it and like cut it up and like give it to your family and friends and stuff. Like you, you haul it in and you sell it. Have I gotten catfished before? No. I've never been catfished. Never been catfished. I watch catfish though. I watch it every week. Hell no, I won't go fishing in the Hudson. And I see people fishing, Mr. B. I see people fishing like in the, um, um, not so much in the Hudson, not so much in the Hudson, but there are some rivers that are like near the ocean, but they're on the inside. I have seen some people fishing like in the East River. I'm like, I, I wouldn't be eating anything out of there at all, at all, uh, catching catfish. They don't want to die still moving. What? Catfish, the thing about catfish is that you have to like peel their skin off, which is like, ugh, it's not like the scales that you scrape off. Catfish, you have to like peel them, which is like disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Justin is a huge Far Cry 5 fan, uh, advocate and fan. Um, he gave some copies to give away uh, last week. Some of you guys were there for that. You sell it for like twelve grand. Twelve grand? What? Wait, how many how many tuna are you catching? How many tuna do you catch with that? Twelve thousand dollars? Are you serious? Damn. I have caught catfish, don't I? I have caught catfish. I have caught catfish. Catfish put up a really good fight, and they're big. They're big. The ones in Virginia are huge. Like you can pull up a catfish that's like this, like this long and like this, like this big around. They're like humongous. Poop train stuck in Alabama. One tuna? That's not $12,000, Dean. Not for one tuna. $12,000, not $1,200? I could see maybe $1,200, not $12,000. Like one tuna steak doesn't cost that much. How many tuna steaks do you get? They use it for sushi. I have a sushi spot right across the street. I My sushi is not that expensive. Well, I don't eat the tuna sushi anymore, but $12,000, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. And I know they have their own like, you know, fishing and the farm raised um, tuna and stuff. Virginia Beach, are you gonna be in Virginia Beach this summer, Mr. B? I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna make my way down there at some point. It's the summer is hard for me because of work. Tuna are huge, but twelve thousand dollars is a lot. That's a lot of money. I, I don't I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Like I lived in Japan for a short period of time and, and I don't think I ate any $12,000 sushi. <laughs> uh, 
I miss raw fish. I miss raw tuna sushi. I do miss that. Yeah, I'm originally from Virginia, Donut. I'm from Newport News. That's where I'm from. I live in New York now. I've been here for many years, but uh, my family is still in Virginia, so I get back down there a lot. VA 757. Tuna huge. Google it how much. Okay, all right. Oh, family reunion. Those are always cool. I don't really get to go to family reunions that much. Well, we don't. Our family doesn't have that many family reunions, but I remember the last one I went to, like, I was a kid, and uh, we went, and there was this woman there who looked almost exactly like my grandmother, and I had never, ever met her before. She was, like, one of her cousins, and I had never met her before, but they looked like they could have been, if not twins, like, really close sisters. It was wild. 26 fish sticks in a box. Trust the Gordon's fishermen. Hey, Eric. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> That's funny. I don't think you're getting the same good quality in a fish stick, John. I do kind of miss fish sticks. Fish sticks and uh, ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that I, m that I would even consider coming back to eating meat for... It would probably it would be fish, like I consider fish meat. Uh, that would be the one thing that might you know. Wicked tuna. Oh no, I haven't watched that. I haven't watched that. Like I watched Deadliest Catch. I watched Deadliest Catch and I watched Moonshiners. <laughs> Rod and Real Tuna, P E I Canada. So grilled chicken is your thing, Mr. B. Fish sticks, corn, and mac and cheese. Yes, starch, starch, and starch. <laughs> yeah, I used to love fish sticks. Love them. They have like some fake fish sticks you can get now, like, you know, like uh, vegetarian kind of fish sticks. They don't taste the same, but you can kind of trick your mind into thinking they're, they're okay. Food wars. How about a horn dog? Or uh, 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 I mean corn dog. I love corn dogs. Horn dog. Corn dogs. I mean, <laughs> I like corn dogs. I don't eat those anymore either. But they do have some uh, vegetarian versions of corn dog. Yeah, I used to love. I used to make this amazing like glazed salmon. It's really really good. I know. Yeah, you did, Dean. You did. Because first off, I'm already jealous that you're out on a boat right now. I'm really jealous that you're out on a boat. Even though the weather isn't that great. Did you get out this, this past weekend? It was like 80 degrees here. It was 80 degrees. Grilled chicken with cheese sauce? Mm, I don't. I never liked chicken and cheese. That didn't seem right to me. On that juice craze every morning. Yeah, I, I've been I've been doing like since my juice cleanse last week I've been doing more uh, juices. Brown dwarf, how are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> Corn dog. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can get with the cheese sauce, especially because I'm not even really eating that right now. Um, but chicken and cheese, I never, I never liked chicken and cheese. Maybe the most I would do would be like a chicken parm. Like that would kind of be okay. I'm good, brown dwarf. I'm good. Cheese sauce, like an Alfredo or like a yellow cheese sauce, like nachos. Like, what does that entail, really? That's what I'm saying, Thomas. Like, that's nacho cheese. It sounds like that's nacho cheese. Yeah, raw juice is great. Like, if you can if you can juice, like, I did it for five days last week. Hey, boss lady Lexi. 
What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? But yeah, I juiced. I juiced. I mean, I did drop a few pounds. Um, oh, you got kicked off? Well, welcome back. It must be because you're out on that boat. Right, I'm making everybody hungry, and I'm not even eating. I'm not even eating. I'm, I need to get my water. All I have is this uh, juice. If it's Alfredo, I mean, maybe it is Alfredo. He just didn't say what it is. Oh, thank you, Brown Dwarf. Thank you. Yeah, some of my clothes were getting a little tight, so. So, yeah. But let me grab my water real quick. I'll be right back. Gotta drink your veggies. If you guys haven't seen the new Lost in Space, I was talking I was say talking a little bit about it earlier. If you haven't seen the new Lost in Space, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh damn, you oh wait, hold on, you were naming cheese. I don't know, John. It looks really good. It does look really good. God of War looks really good. Okay, I'm sorry. Parmesan and Provo. Provolone, okay. And White American. Yeah, I don't know why that was held, um, Mr. B. I'm sorry. You know, I have my, um, my spam filters on, so I don't know why it caught that up. Sorry about that. I started getting smaller on my birthday. No, I didn't. That was right before the blow-up time. You grow veggies? I wish I could grow veggies. Hey, Antonio. It was um, it was uh, Provo, Provolone, Parmesan, and White American. Yeah, it was. I think it must have been the White American that flagged my sensors. I don't know. Jose, estoy bien. ¿Cómo estás? Rum cherry coke. Nice. I had some IPA earlier at the at the uh, bar some beer so um yeah it was white american but it allowed it just then so i don't know i don't know racist cheese <laughs> yeah spam is popular in hawaii it is it is i remember like wanting spam when i was a kid and like where i'm from is you know like pork is like a huge industry there so we would always have like actual real live ham not live ham but actual ham in the house and um but i used to want spam because like i saw the commercials on tv and so i always like really wanted spam but spam is not uh, spam i don't think it's very good you grew up on spam oh on ebt oh okay well i i didn't have that experience and so like like i grew up on actual ham Asiago cheese. Mmm, that is good. I like that. Too many cheese gonna cause constipation. I was saying, like, Lonnie, like, I haven't, I haven't been eating cheese, like, all week. Like, it's been, like, almost two weeks of not eating any cheese at all, and I feel, like, great. Um, hablo espanol, uh, hablo espanol un poquito. Very little. Very little Spanish. I understand more. Then I speak. Live ham. I meant, you knew what I meant, Mr. B. Just when I said where they grow the pigs, you didn't like that either. <laughs> raise. I think you told me they raise pigs, not grow them. Say no to spam. Yeah, but I know like the island, you know, the island people love spam. No. Oh, oh you're saying that somebody else knows what dog food tastes like. I've never had dog, well, the only, well, I never had any, like, real dog food. I did have some cookies. 
like when you go to the pet store they have like a cookie bar and at the cookie bar they have like all these cookies that look like real people cookies and I went in there and the guy was like oh you know people can eat these too so I tried I tried one of them it was pretty good it wasn't as sweet as a regular cookie but they have like the duplex cookies but for dogs but it was fine it was fine yes breakfast lunch and, and dinner they do like spam and rice they do fried spam battered spam 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 six pigs three cows 15 chickens so you make your own eggs you have eggs <laughs> no. <laughs> no I did I did I had some dog cookies they were pretty good they were pretty good Alexander Keith India Pale Ale I, I, I never had that two star I was drinking uh, Lagunitas earlier today that's that's the IPA I was drinking that's what they had on on draft at the bar that I went to Spam Burger Spam egg rolls, spam fried rice, spam sushi. Oh yeah, they do make spam sushi. They do. That's right. They do make spam sushi. It's like a little piece of spam. You think it's like sashimi, but it's not. It's spam. You you sell eggs. Really? Interesting. My sister-in-law raises chickens and, you know, she'll give give us eggs. Um like I came home with like two dozen eggs last time I went down there. I did eat dog cookies, but they the man said I could eat uh, dog cookies. Like they were human grade. They look like human grade too, and they taste like human grade. They're just not as sweet. Spam anything? You don't like any spam? Fried spam. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I had. I drank three of those earlier. Let's talk fish and spam. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Olive loaf bologna. I don't even know what that is, Dean. I don't know what that is. There's certain like things like that that loaf meat stuff that I always thought was disgusting. Uh oh, thank you, Donut. It's good to see you. Come back. Come back. Have a good night. Spam tastes like bacon. It does not taste like bacon. It tastes like it tastes ham like. Ham like. That's what it tastes like. Hey Zach. It tastes very it's smoky like a ham, but like processed. Does dog food have carcinogens? Not this. Oh, I don't know, does it? I didn't think dog food has carcinogens. I my dog eats very like good dog food. Man said you could eat meat, but you don't <laughs> Hey fatality, what's up? Wait, how do you not like hot dogs? Justin, how do you not like hot dogs? Are you kidding me? What? Sipping with the sushi shop. When you burn it, it tastes like bacon. Oh, okay. I guess you have to salt with a side of more salt and grease. They were, they were dog cookies. Come on. See, I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. Now I have to look it up because y'all think I'm looking like... Y'all think I'm making, like, eating some, like, dog food, like, out of a can. Thank you, East Coast. Hey, East Coast. Oh, my gosh. What's up, Arcadia? They make you... Hot dogs? Make you gag? I'm doing some self-censoring right now, so I'm going to have no comment on that. Yeah, I'm going I'm to have no comment on that. Uh... Let's see. <laughs> Wait, I have to look up these cookies from Miss Notch because Miss Notch thinks I'm eating some crazy um, shit. Dog cookie bar. Let's see. Dog ice cream cups. They do. They have all sorts of things. No, Fatality, I don't eat meat. I don't eat meat. I never ate dog food either, except for the cookies. I only ate dog cookies, not any like dog meat stuff, just dog cookies. Okay, all right, check this out. This is what I ate. Hold on. This. Y'all know y'all ate something that looked just like that. This is what I ate. 
This is from the, the cookie bar at Petco. People can eat these. This is what I ate. I ate one of these. Oh, thank you, Brown Dwarf. That's sweet. No, these cookies are good. Look at them. You know you ate something that looks like that. <laughs> I don't know what you eat, pitiful. No, no kibble and bits. No. My dog is a Maltese Yorkie. You've never seen her, Dean? I don't know where she is. I think she's sleeping right now. Lolly? She's she's asleep. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, this is these are the cookies. You go there and they have like chocolate chip. They're like fake chocolate chips. They're like carob chips. Um, but yeah, they have the the um, yeah. The, these are all the things they have. Look, look at these on the bottom. Look at this. They have these. These are like. Um, chocolate chip cookies. They taste like chocolate chip, but they're not really chocolate chip. They have animal crackers. They have a shortbread. They have like biscotti. Come on. It is meant for a dog. <laughs> but it's human grade. It's human grade. That's all I'm saying. It's human grade. It's just not quite as sweet as a... Um, it's not, it's not as sweet as a human cookie. So it actually, for me, it tastes a little better than a human cookie because it's um, cause it's not as sweet. I don't make a habit of eating them, but I just tried it out because it was there. I was a little snackish. Man said I could eat it, so I ate it. <laughs> it's not Mad Max. It is not, Mr. B. It is not. Yes, dogs eat biscotti. How did I end up trying it? Because the guy was refilling the bar. He was re refilling the bar. Coyote's breakfast, a drink of water, and a look around. <laughs> the guy was refilling the treat bar, you know, and you go in and it's bulk. And so, you know, you scoop it out. And he was refilling it. And we were standing there and he was like, oh, you guys should try these. Sometimes I eat them for lunch. You know, you should try these. You know, people can eat them. And we were like, oh, really? People can eat them? And he was like, yeah. You know, and then he ate one to show us that it was safe to eat one. And then I was like, okay, I'll try one. And then I ate one. And then that was it. Thank you. Thank you, Leilani. See, Leilani has a kitchen. Leilani knows. I did not get played by the Petco guy. No, he ate one. He ate one. You know how like somebody will taste the food first to show you that it's not poison? Like he did that. And then he was like, in here, have a duplex cookie. And I was like, okay, I'm a little snackish. I haven't had lunch yet. So I ate one. It was good. They are real food. Thank you. Thank you. Scooby Snacks. <laughs> He's a weirdo. He might have been a weirdo. Now that I think back, now that I think about it, he may have been a little strange. He might have been a little strange, but I survived. I survived. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's perfectly fine, Vitality. <laughs> I think he eats them like for his his lunch dessert sometimes. <laughs> I love IPAs. I love IPAs. No, it's not like Alpo. It's sweet. It's like a cookie. It's crunches. It has the little cream inside. It's good. He ate a real cookie. No, he didn't. It all came out of the same package. I saw where he was pulling them out of. I'm like, the stuff that y'all eat, y'all know y'all eat some suspect shit. That's all I'm saying. These cookies are not made from meat scraps. Bobby Chow casserole. <laughs> but, you know, you say dog treats are made from meat scraps, but what do you think, like, hot dogs are made out of? Like, what do you think that's made out of? What do you think, like, your spam is made out of? Like, that stuff is made out of some suspect stuff. They, like, grind up, like, the stuff that nobody wants and squeeze it into a casing and cook it. Petco guy making bottom dollar he eat for free. <laughs> Damn. Damn. And this was not suspect. I don't eat anything suspect. I try not to anyway. <laughs> Hydrox cookies. <laughs> you make hot dogs? Really? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Don't cheat or not if it tastes good. Exactly, Zach. I have not sniffing fire hydrants. I had one or maybe two cookies. <laughs> Wait, you call IPAs glass sandwiches? You call them glass sandwiches? Oh, because they're like um, hearty, a hearty beer? Yeah, hot dogs and bologna. Yeah, that was the other thing, bologna. What do you think bologna is? That's, I think bologna is probably like ground up feet 
or something like browned up feet and ears and like tongues and stuff like that's baloney yeah that's lips pig ears cow toes exactly yeah nasty looking when you make look, look oh my gosh oh ah hey jay oh my gosh y'all are making me squeamish right now man it is gross it is gross Ugh. man if he if he's selling marijuana infused cookies at the petco then he has bigger issues he has big bigger issues for real no pork on the fork what <laughs> you can probably get the thing is you can get like the cheap uh no no name brand cookies for cheaper than the dog treat cookies i'm just saying we me and molly go out the same time <laughs> pickle pig feet my my mom loves pickle pig feet loves them hey ally what's up what's up feet and baloney i think i think baloney is made out of animal feet that's what i think i might be wrong but that's what I think. Even though, as a kid, I used to love bologna sandwiches. Bologna and mustard. Man, it was good. You will never eat an edible again. You gotta be careful about those edibles. Not that I would know anything about that or anything. You just gotta know where they come from. Otherwise, you might feel like you're gonna die. The Petco guy had the munchies. <laughs> he might have. He might have. Now that I think about him, and he was like an older guy. Like he was like an older guy. He looked like he like came of age in the seventies. Like, yeah, I think he probably got high a time or two. A pig roast. Like, will you put it on the spit and like roll it around, or do you put it like in the ground? Yeah, pickle pig feet are pretty uh, gross. I think. Watching SmackDown Live. That's wrestling, I think. You, damn fatality. You ate one at work. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. The dog cookies were good, Miss Notch. One day, do you have a dog? Do you have a dog, Miss Notch? If you have a dog, I challenge you to go to the Petco uh, dog cookie bar. And just take a look. I'm not saying you need to eat one. Oh, the whole pig in the smoker. Okay. I bet that's some good eating. Exactly, Mr. B. Exactly. I don't want a pickled egg. Nope. Nope. No thanks. That doesn't even sound right. Um, but yes, Miss Nudge, I would like to challenge you to at least take a look at the dog cookies. They're in the bulk section, section, and you can open the little container, and you'll see them in there, and you're going to smell the smell that wafts up out of the thing, and you're going to be like, wow, this, is, this smells pretty good. I wonder what it tastes like. And you can. <laughs> you know, and if I did, I'm not eating its cookies. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I do not eat chitlins. Never like chitlins, but I agree you cannot eat anybody's chitlins. I was not eating dog food, Tavares. Oh my gosh, baked ziti. Man, I make a good baked ziti. Man. Fish spam and dog cookies. Fair enough, Miss Notch. Fair enough. All right, Dean, enjoy your fishing. Be safe out there on those waters. <laughs> y'all are y'all are tripping me out y'all tripping see I share things with y'all I share things with you guys and then you just throw it in my face just throw it back in my face I'm just saying don't sleep on the dog the dog cookies that's all I'm saying don't sleep don't sleep that's all no judgment no judgment if you take a bite of one of those duplex cookies from the dog bar that's all I'm saying Tavares, you know it's always something random. 
you know, I always have something random. I don't know how we got on this. We started talking about fish fishing, and then we ended up talking about me eating dog food. So I don't exactly know how we ended up here, but here we are. Welcome back. Welcome back to you. You make your own. Hello. Hey, Jacques. What's up? Jacques Leblanc. What is going on? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying there's nothing necessarily wrong with the dog cookies. That's all I'm saying. Only cookies I make are ones that are in the roll and you just like cut them. That's the only kind of cookies I make. See, Leilani will hook you up with some good dog, dog uh, cookies that you can also share with your dog. <laughs> dog food it's a dog cookie mr. B it's a dog cookie it's a dog cookie I feel like I can share that with y'all I don't have dog treat cravings <laughs> it's not a vice no <laughs> yes I make salads brown dwarf I can't yes I make salads but fatality you cook like I see on Instagram I see the stuff that you cook like you can cook like you can really cook I don't, I don't cook like that to be taking pictures of my food, you know? Um, but I see the stuff you make. Like, you're like a chef. I'm not making any cookies from scratch. I'm not doing it. Rich Deezy up in here. What's going on? What's up? What's up? <laughs> no, but you're making human food. You make the human food into something that dogs can eat. Like, it's, you know, it's flour and, and whatever the hell else. That's all. I ate dog cookies. Yes, they were good. They were good. They don't have meat in them. It's, you know, they don't have meat in them. They're made like a real human cookie with whatever the hell you put in a real human cookie, like a flour and sugar and whatever your, I don't know, spice or whatever, I guess, in it. But it's not, it's not like meat in it. It's not like meat inside the dog cookie. It's like a cookie, you know? Yeah, Fatality really, really throws down. He really throws down, for real. I did see some dog ice cream. Man, I haven't been on Battlefront in a minute. In a minute. That's right, own that shit. I do own it. I do own it. I'm telling you. One day, one day, somebody, one of these 22 people who are in here right now, one one of these people who's in here is going to be in the Petco and you're going to see the dog treat bar and you're going to be like, hmm, hmm. But somebody made the dog treats I, I ate. It could have been from Leilani's kitchen. I don't know. But somebody made them. Somebody made them. They were delicious. King NorCal, what's up? <laughs> I'm telling you, Tavares, don't sleep. Petco... Go to Petco. They have the bulk uh, cookie bar there. You'll see it. You'll see it if I start barking. <laughs> if you right, exactly, Tavares. Did you see? You came in late. You didn't see the picture. You didn't see the picture. Yes, this is 40 ounces. This is 40 ounces. This is just water in here, though. It's 40, 40 ounces. Yes, I've had vegan jerky. I buy vegan jerky. I might, I don't think I have any in the cabinet, but yeah, I buy vegan jerky. I have some really good vegan jerky, actually. I'll have to see if I have some. If I do, I'll show it to you. I don't know if Tavares was in here, but I have to show Tavares this cookie that I ate. Tavares, this is the cookie. This is the cookie that I ate right there. That's the cookie. You know that looks like something. That looks like human cookie. It was delicious. Delicious. Yeah, it's vegan jerky. Let me see if I have any in the in the cabinet. Right, they can't have chocolate, so they make it out of like carob or something. Yeah, exactly. See, Leilani knows. See, Leilani is gonna gonna school you. Some vegan jerky is they make it from um, one of them that I have is like from mushrooms, and another one is like soy soy based. It's not dog jerky. No, no, no. I told you, Tavares, it looks good, right? And they also have these other ones. Hold on, let me show you. Oh, no, it's not on this one. <clears throat> I 
uh, the the suggested things are are missing. So, whatever. Whatever. You keep a real forty in your forty, man. No, I drink water out of mine. Hold on, let me see if I have some vegan jerky to show you guys. Is it a challenge? A cookie? I don't know if you're challenging me. No, I ate all the um I ate all the the jerky that I had. You follow me on Instagram. <laughs> My secret is out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, dogs can't eat chocolate. Dogs can't eat chocolate. They can't eat onions either. You're vegan and eat meat. Brown dwarf. Mm -mm. Oh, here's my dog. Who is that? Oh, Dean. Dean's gone, though. Dean is gone. Hey, Wykem. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> King Norcal. Yeah, like chocolate. Like I, this weekend, this weekend I went to um, one of my favorite restaurants here, and they serve roti. They serve roti. Oh, hold on, my dog. My dog wants to go outside. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a second. Hold on. Come here. So I got roti, right? And um, and it's spicy. It's like a curry, uh, a curry spice roti. And I left it sitting out. My dog ate the rest of my roti, and it was spicy. And she ate the hell out of it. She was messed up, like for the rest of the night, because she ate ate this curry that she shouldn't have eaten. But it was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. So good. There are a lot of people who cook in here. We have Leilani's Kitchen Fatality King Norcal. Yeah, it's like a Caribbean burrito. She got a <laughs> Thing is, Lolly doesn't even like those cookies. The cookie that I ate, she doesn't even like it. She doesn't even like it. Oh, wait. You know what? I think I have some. I think I have some of the dog cookies. I think I have some of the dog cookies. Um, somewhere, like in the other room, I think I have some dog cookies. I'm not going to eat any, though. I'm not going to eat any for your viewing pleasure. Why, Kim? It's been there. It's been there. It's actually less than when you saw me. Y'all just aren't used to seeing... Y'all just aren't used to seeing me in jeans. That's all. Yes, my dog ate my food and I ate her food. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> eat the damn cookie. <laughs> eat the cookie anime. <laughs> I do have some around here. I just have to I have to find out where I where I put them. <laughs> I do have some dog cookies here somewhere. I put them to the side. <laughs> but I'm not gonna eat them. I, I'm not this is not a challenge. This is not you know for y'all's uh, viewing enjoyment. Thank you. Thank you, King Norcal. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm in jeans. You can see my bruise. I fell. I fell last week on the curb. I fell last week on the curb. And this is a bruise. This is a bruise. I fell on the street. Street. No, I'm not still eating them. I put them to the side for my friend's dog. 
because my dog won't eat them. But I do have some that I could show you if I can find. I can't remember where I put them. I'm not going to eat the cookie. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the cookie. Where you been, Wycombe? How did you not know? How did you not know? Let me find the, let me find the cookies, though. Hold on. All right, let me see if I can find the cookie. You fell yesterday and last week? What the hell? What the hell? Justin needs a sip. Justin needs a sip. All right, hold on. Let me find this cookie. stuff. I really don't know. Are the people in the art ascending or descending? It's it's up to you to decide. It's it's open to interpretation. So Yeah, my skateboard fall was pretty epic, sadly. It's pretty epic. Pretty epic. But at least I was doing something when I fell on the skateboard. When I fell this time, I was literally just walking. Literally just walking. Gulps. <laughs> I can't find them, Miss Notch. I don't know where they are. I moved them. Like, there were guests. I had uh, family in town this weekend. And I moved. I have this whole big bag of stuff for my friends. For my friend's dog. My friend has a dog. And so I have this whole big bag of stuff that I put to the side and those cookies are in there, but now I can't find the bag. I don't know what I did with it, but I gotta let my dog in, so give me a second. Yeah, you guys won't see me eat a cookie today because I can't find them. Wait, Lolly, come here. Yeah, I give up. I give up. <laughs> I do wish I knew what I what I did with the with that bag of stuff. Cause I need to get it to him. So now it's like a, on a whole nother level. Cause I I need to know where it is. Hold on a second. You, I don't know. You can't get a DUI drinking kombucha. Kombucha has a very low, it, it barely has any alcohol in it. Kombucha barely has any alcohol in it. Um, before kombucha became like really, really crazy, the cookie does not have me fiending. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Good God. Good God. Good God, man. I am really bothered by this, though, guys. I'm really bothered by this. Hey, why Kim? You're Lola. What are you saying? <laughs> You're unsubscribed. <laughs> That's messed up, Notch. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, though. Up or down as you see it. It's It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. The signature is not on there, so you can hang it however you wish. And it's not necessarily, you know, it's like, um, yeah, 
Is are they like bursting out? Is it being sucked in? You don't know. Starsha <laughs> with Scooby Snacks. Look at. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I have vinyl records. I have some gems. I have some gems. Um, I like stole a bunch of my dad's vinyls when I went down there because he doesn't play them anymore. So I stole a bunch of them. I have like a, I mean, a decent. I have like a stack of vinyls. I guess about like this big. This big, old stuff. Yeah, so I do. I have um, lots of prints. I have some Michael Jackson vinyls, some James Brown. I have some uh, like Pink Floyd. Um, I have like a wide like variety. Some Parliament stuff as well. Oh, you're back. My you missed my dog. My dog came through, Dean. You missed. You missed it. You lost the fish. What? No. Yeah, I have some. Um, I have some. I have some good gems for vinyl. My record, my record player isn't for shit, but I do have one. Um, but I have like a little cheap record player. Hey, Black Knight, new. How did you find me? How did you find me? Welcome. Welcome, 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 Black Knight forever. I know, I did steal the records, but I mean, he kind of let me have them. He kind of, like, he wasn't doing it. They were in the closet. They were in the closet. So I kind of went through and like picked which ones I wanted. But I have some really good ones. You were teaching your grandmother how to moonwalk? How did she do? <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous about that, John. I'm jealous. Jealous, jealous. Are you some unopened ones? See, I have a problem, like, not opening things. Like, I have to open everything. I really have to open everything. Like, uh, yeah. I'm bad. I'm so bad about stuff like that. I don't leave anything in the box. I really don't. <clears throat> and an unopened vinyl. I don't, I, I can't do an unopened vinyl record. probably suggested oh really so someone like sees me suggested on someone else's channel interesting interesting I do I open them and keep the boxes like all the stuff well a lot of the stuff that I have up here I have the boxes they're like maybe hidden behind things but I keep the boxes but everything comes out of the box I don't keep anything in the box why what are you doing on Friday John Alf yes I remember Alf it's a long story on how you found me. Interesting. Now I'm really curious, Black Knight. You gonna go pick up? Oh, okay. that sounds like a good Friday, John. Hey, hey, uh, Savage Gorilla. That sounds like a good Friday. That sounds like a good Friday. So it's a long story. Now I'm very curious, Black Knight. Like you can't just say that. You can't just say that and then be like, it's a long story. Like, that's, yeah, no, come on. You have ALF in an unopened box. That would be tough for me, Dean. That would be tough. Did you have ALF at the time that ALF was on TV? Like, if you had ALF and you had a gremlin at the time that it was out, I don't know how you kept it in the box. That seems like a, a tragedy, travesty, to keep it in the box. Doctor Orders? Really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Fatality. I'm not saying that, John. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you had... If, if you had them when it was out, then I would be, like, very... Uh, like, very wary, you know? Like, I, there's no way I could keep it in the box. Like, how do you keep that in the box? How do you keep that in the box? I do have one thing up here in the box. Well, this Batman is in the box, but my Django doll, my Django, my Django doll is in the box. Like that, that action figure I'm not taking out. Gizmo. Gizmo needs to, yeah, you have to have, you have to like have Gizmo out. 
It's crazy that you still have Gizmo. Damn. Miss Notch. What? What? Like, okay, so I have this, um, <clears throat> hey, ready to hit hot fire. What's up? Um, so I have this, right? I have this, um, I did keep this on the card just because I wanted to sit up, but I have this, um, this thing, right? This, um, Hello Kitty Wonder Woman and, you know, I keep it on here just so it'll sit up, but I, I got this from Brazil, like a Brazil, uh, Amazon or whatever. And, oh, you have Michael Jackson. Don't let Justin hear you say that. Flojo, damn, Dr. Claw. So I have this, right? And I bought two of them. I bought myself one, and then I bought my little niece one of these as well. Well, she came to visit. They came to visit a few weeks ago, and she said, she said that they were fighting over the Hello Kitty, and they ripped the arms off of her Hello Kitty. Ripped, ripped the arms off of it. I was I was so disappointed and upset. I tried not to show it because I'm like their kids. I never should have bought it for her in the first place. But rip the damn arms. Slam off of Hello Kitty. She was like, I have this, but, you know, her arms got ripped off because, you know, her brother, you know, was fighting. They were, he was fighting over it. Rip the arms off the damn thing. Rip the arms. Slam off. You got rid of it? Damn. You did a rap doing Dr. Claw. Wow, Leilani, that's tough. That's tough. I don't have any kids, but I don't have any of my old toys. I don't know, I think, I never really kept anything. Like, I was the one who would always like push for garage sales. Like, I used to always want to have garage sales. Um, because I was like very like business minded and I wanted to sell my things. I wanted to sell my things that I didn't use anymore. So a lot of stuff I got rid of just in garage sales because I wanted money to go buy new things with. Um, hey Butcher, what's up? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. A Sasquatch? What? You have Chewbacca in a box? And you have Teddy Ruxpin? What? That's crazy. <laughs> he tell he's ready to get his belt. <laughs> are you, are they still in the box though, John, or they're out? Michael in red and gold sequin jacket. Huh. Original toy you kept. What? You going to send send me a picture of it? Yeah, I don't really have anything, uh, I don't have anything original like that. Mostly untouched comics. Yeah, that was a mistake, Miss Notch, but you don't know that, you know? Your friend? Who's your friend, Black Knight? Pop Rocks and Soda. Damn, real. That's messed up. That is messed up. Oh, wow. Well, thank I'm glad you're here, Black Knight. I don't know who your friend is. I would like to uh, thank him or her. Um, but welcome, welcome. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Bruce Lee in a box? What? <laughs> Reby Jackson from St. Pete. <laughs> Oh my god. That is random. That is random AF. Random AF. Yeah, but you know, like comics are hard to keep. Like you keep them. Um, like we have like boxes of comics in the basement. But it's like you don't know what's in there. And then they're not like in sleeves. They're just like in boxes. You don't know what you have. You don't know what you had. And then, and then you think they're like really like expensive and really worth something. And then most times they're not, they're not really, they're not really. Did you send me a picture, Justin? Hold on. 
let me see. Oh, one second. One second. So Black Knight, are you a PlayStation? Are you a PlayStation user or are you a YouTube user? Oh wow, Barbara Bush died. Barbara Bush died. That's sad. The dance to centipede. <laughs> Oh, wow, Miss Notch. Then, yeah, you never should have just given them away like that. Never should have. Hey, Raymond. You forgot I was a friend? Are you asking me to start streaming Fortnite? I'm not really into Fortnite like that. Man, I used to love strawberry shortcake. Real? No, that's not nice. That's not nice. The <laughs> More cakes than Little Debbie. I'm so done. I'm so done. So done. Yeah, I saw about Harry Anderson. You've got a lot of friends. Wish you could tell you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, cool. Well, welcome. Welcome, Black Knight. Welcome. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's already done. What? This is yours, Justin? <laughs> this is amazing. Wait, look at what Justin just sent me. Look at that. Can you see it? Can you see that? That is freaking Hoff. That is David Hasselhoff and Kit. That's crazy. You have the Hoff and Kit? <sighs> Man. That is crazy. Yeah, but you know, like I only I only play st I, I play stuff that I'm really feeling at the moment and that I like. I don't really just play stuff just because it's hot at the moment, um, which is, I guess is unfortunate for me because you know I miss out because I want to play I want to stream something like stupid and you know everybody else is streaming something else. So, but that's how I have to do it. That's how I have to do it. <laughs> Two star. <laughs> Michael Knight, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. People need to stop. People need to stop. Kit talks. Does the do you have the light? Does it light the light in the front and everything works? Still? That's crazy. Is that actual hair or it's hard to tell. Is that hair or is it molded plastic on um David Hasselhoff's head? Is that molded plastic? Bulldog, aw, Sarge, Sarge is sn snoring Sarge. My dog has been snoring a lot lately, really been snoring a lot. Yeah, Night Rider, didn't, 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 didn't. It never had a light. That's a little disappointing, but it's still that's it's pretty badass though. And the fact that you still have it, man, that's a gem. That's a gem, man. Moldy Hoff. Okay. That's cool. That's really cool, Justin. Wow. <laughs> it is a gem. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I they're I mean, I don't know. Kit was pretty badass because Kit talked and had the light on the front and they always had that um license plate, the license plate that would like flip over like whenever he was like running from the cops, like he had the alternative like uh, license plate that would like flip over and then they would drive the car in the back of the truck, back of the tractor trailer. An escape. Yeah. 
It was badass. A team was was pretty uh yeah. I'm not a I'm not a big smoker, Raymond. Sorry. Sorry. The evil kit car. I think I, I think that rings a bell. I think I think that rings a bell. Anyway, I have not seen Ready Player One yet, Black Knight. I read the book. I was talking about it a little earlier. Um, I read the book. I'm really excited to see it. I just have been busy and I haven't had a chance to go to the movies. So um, maybe I'll see it this week. Maybe maybe I'll try and see it tomorrow. I have to see it in the theater. But I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I absolutely love the book, though. Uh, the book is one of my favorite books. And it's very nostalgic and, and all of that. So I'm very excited for it, but I haven't seen it yet. Nope. I remember Knight Rider 2000, and yes, it was absolutely garbage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, 808. Long romantic walks to the fridge. I don't know, Ninja Scroll. I don't have that bit of trivia. Did he? I know he was a theater actor, so it's possible. It's possible. You're kidding. <laughs> That's how you fell in love with potato salad. You can't just fall in love with anybody's potato salad, though, 808. Somebody has to make some proper potato salad. Mayonnaise-based or mustard-based? Or both? I gotta go for both with the potato salad. I go for a southern potato salad. Up here, they don't know how to make proper potato salad. They make like some, it's not right. It's not right. You have to have sweet pickles in your potato salad. But I don't know. I don't know who voiced uh, Chris. I'm not sure. We are living single. Uh, one who Max liked. That, yeah, uh, Kyle was the the like the darker one with like the hair. I really need to hear that fatality. I can't do that. You can you can you can growl like Eartha Kitt. <laughs> I know what you look like, fatality, and I don't know how I feel about you growling like Eartha Kitt. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, like everybody can't make good potato salad. Everybody can't make good potato salad. Deviled egg potato salad with bacon. Why well, can't have anything with bacon? Biting tongue. Wait, no, what did I say? What did I say? Oh my gosh. Growling like Eartha Kitt. <laughs> so you can do like, like Eartha Kitt... Like Catwoman Eartha Kit or Eartha Kit from Boomerang Eartha Kit. Like the whole Marcus situation. You can do that. It is. It is growling like Eartha Kit. That is scary. Marcus. I can't I can't do it though. It's like it's like in the back of her throat. Like the growl is like in the back of her throat. I can't do that. No, I do not need to be fattened up at all. I do not need to be fattened up at all. You'll bring potato salad if I'm having a cookout. <laughs> I don't know, Black Knight. I already said I don't need everybody's potato salad. I will. I will definitely watch the movie, though. I will. I don't know who, who decided to put raisins in potato salad. It's absolutely unacceptable. I don't know what that is, where that came from, who thought that that was okay. It's never okay. It's never okay. It's not. It's not okay. Certain things do not belong in certain places, if you know what I'm saying. Raisins and potato salad is one of them. It's not okay. Not okay at all. <sighs> Who does that? Who does that? She was thirsting. She got it, though. She got it. She got it. Marcus gave it to her. And, and she was the figurehead. She was the figurehead. 
regular potato salad. There's no such thing as just regular potato salad. Regular potato salad to you and regular potato salad to somebody else is just like potatoes and mayonnaise. Like they're like, here's your potato salad. No, that's not potato salad. Get that away from me. Hey, Dodie, what's up? You don't like raisins in your oatmeal? Oh, I like raisins. I love raisins. Hey, Stephanie, I am. I'm back. I, I tried to come back on Thursday. I just didn't have time in my schedule. I was not able to do it. Um, and I had family in town and stuff. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to stream on Thursday, but I'm back today. So can I get it a little darker? Wait, can I get what a little darker? Can I get what a little darker? Five pounds? No, hell no. No, I could lose five pounds, Wykem. I could lose five pounds. <laughs> right, you don't like raisins on your anything. No, I love I love raisins, but no. Your growl will turn into a lion growl. Fatality, what are you doing at your house? What goes down over there where you live? Oh my goodness. Now, now my curiosity is piqued. Hmm. I don't know. You sound like you're into some, some stuff, fatality. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, boomerang. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with you now. I'm with you. I'm not like him. Y'all like what y'all like. I like what I like. I'm just saying. Amish potato salad? No. I have to disagree. I have to disagree. Is that like the red potatoes with the skin still on it? I have to say no on that. That's like some that some I've had some like that. I don't like German potato salad. I think is probably like the same thing. So you don't like it in like a an oatmeal raisin cookie, Leilani? You cook. You gotta throw down on some oatmeal raisin cookies properly. You're Leo. That lion will come out. Okay, fatality. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, sneaks. What's up? Yeah, you can't have skin in your potato salad. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> Miss Notch. See, Miss Notch is bringing up those cookies again. Miss Notch is bringing those cookies back up. They were human grade cookies. They just happened to be at the pet store for dogs that I ate. <laughs> Whipped cream on your pancakes. That's just dessert though. That's just that's just dessert. Domineering. J dominate. Aw, thanks, two star. You're very sweet. Slim thick. Leilani, that is not an oatmeal raisin cookie with chocolate chip and pecan and toffee. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It sounds good, though. Oh, you did? Okay, let me look, Dean. Oh, thank you, Sneaks. It's good to see you. Ninja Drew! What up, what up, what up? What's going on? All right, let me see. Let me see what Sarge is doing. <laughs> no wizard. It's a kitchen sink cookie. It's like whatever you have on hand, you throw it in. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what you sent me. Oh. <laughs> This is Dean's dog. This is Dean's dog. This dog is so cute. The bulldog with those little those little teeth that underbite. So cute. Sarge. Hey Sarge. Hey Sarge. Wait, did who slid in here? I missed it. Is Blum over in here? Oh my mom makes some amazing peanut butter cookies. Yeah, it is a lot with that cookie. What's up, Blunt Mover? What is going on? What's going on? <laughs> no, 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 I see you, I see you. C 
Come on. What's up, Tom? The human grade dog leash. No, no dog leashes for me. Not that kind of leash, anyway. Um. <laughs> His dog looked like Depot. <laughs> it does kind of look like Depot. <laughs> oh, he did? Oh. Oh, look, Dean, here's my dog. Here's my dog. Hey, Swirl. Swirl, Swoolio. Hold on. Come here, Lolly. Come here, puppy. Wait, come here. Hold on. Come here. Come here. I want to see you. I want to say hi. Hold on. All right, here you go. What's up? What's up, Flatboomer? Again. All right, here she is. No, she's a Maltese, a Maltese Yorkie mix. She's not having it. She's not, she's not happy right now, but she's not happy right now. She won't, I don't think she's going to lay down. She's a Maltese Yorkie mix. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to put her down because she's not, she's not happy. All right. Thanks, world. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. She's like a pain in the ass, but she's cute. Right? <laughs> she was not acting like I ate her cookies. She doesn't even like those cookies. She wouldn't even mind if I ate her cookies. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, your dog is all black. Aww. No, she's sweet. She's sweet. She snores like a 200 pound man though. I'm like, why are you making this so much noise? Like, I'm trying to sleep. She snores like a grown person. Like seriously. It's not, it's not okay. It's not. Not at all. <clears throat> um, what do I have to talk about? I don't really have anything to talk about. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking about random stuff right now. If y'all have something y'all would like to bring up or discuss or think there's something I should be aware of, we can talk about it. Um, your dog rams through everything, but he's like kind of small though, right? Like, like bulldogs are like thick and like strong, but they're in a small package. I do wonder where that cookie is. I really don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. The dog has sleep apnea? I hope not. No, I don't, no, I don't think so. I don't think she has sleep apnea. She just, I don't know. I don't know. I think she just eats too much food and yeah. Rabbits? Really? Aww. The dog whisperer. <laughs> Don't slap me. I got a meeting in the ladies' room. I'll be back real soon. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 87 pounds. That's big. That's, that's huge. That's a big dog, Dean. What do you want to talk about, real? Perfect battering ram. I'm just wondering where the cookie is. Like now, now it's bothering me that I don't know where I put them, where I put the cookies. Let me see. Did I put them under here? Hold on. Let me see. Oh my, I can't show y'all on oh, my whole ass. Hold on. Let me see. Did I put them under here? No, I didn't. I don't know where they are. I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna post them on my Instagram when I find when I find these cookies. A Chihuahua named Fernando. Why do Chihuahuas always have like some Spanish names? Small, just muscle bound. That's huge though, Dean. <laughs> Booty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I grew up, I grew up with a, a Chihuahua and our Chihuahua was called Chi Chi. Chi Chi, we know where the cookies are at. I can't, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Y'all are a hot damn mess. Y'all are not right. Y'all are not right. <laughs> we know where the cookies are. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> you know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I made some fried rice. I think I'm going to eat that. <laughs> Real. <laughs> you were hilarious, Real. Yeah, see, Blunt Mover, he wasn't here when we were discussing the cookies. He wasn't here for that discussion. I I ate a dog cookie, but it was like, you know, human grade cookie, no meat in it or anything. Am I doing anything special for Infinity War release? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't have anything planned, Black Knight. I don't have anything planned. Um, actually, speaking of that, um, no, I am not because that Thursday I have a gig out of town. So I'm not even going to be here. You guys will not see me next Thursday at all because I am going to be working out of town. So um, I'm not even going to get to see it on Thursday night. I'm going to see it Friday night. So I don't have anything planned. Maybe I'll come up with something, but at this time, I don't. Maybe if I can figure something out for Tuesday, maybe. <clears throat> you still have tacos. Yeah, I made last night I made some um, vegetable, like fried rice with tofu. It was really, really good. Are you still number one on the naughty list? <laughs> it's a long story. It's dog cookies and whatever, and yeah. I should go dressed as Wonder Woman. That is totally, that is totally unrelated. That is totally unrelated. I would not go dressed as Wonder Woman. No. He wouldn't eat one. I know he wouldn't eat one. He wouldn't eat one. He wouldn't eat one. Oh, okay, Justin. I will see you later. Have a good night. Have fun. I'm sure you're going to play some Far Cry or something. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm not going to be around next Thursday. I ate dog cookies, yes. I ate dog cookies. But it was at the recommendation of the people who work at the store. And uh, they were really delicious and tasty. They were delicious. I only ate one or maybe two. But they were good. They were good dog cookies. <laughs> Now I have to show him what it looks like. If I just gave him one, like if I gave Term one of these cookies, he would just eat it. He wouldn't even question it. He would just be like, oh, okay, this looks good. I'm going to eat this cookie. So let me show you. Let me show you what it is before you, um, before you reserve judgment. I did eat two. I may have eaten two. <laughs> See, I didn't eat milk bones. This is not milk bone, but this is what I ate. This is what I ate. Hey, Kevin. What's up? I have not gone quite mad. I have not. Okay, I have never accidentally tasted dog jerky. I don't know how that, how you did that, Leilani. I don't know how you did that. I'm not tricking people. I just said, if I happen to hand him one of these cookies and was like, here, try this cookie, he would take the cookie, he would eat it, and be like, oh, this is, a, this is pretty good. And I'll be like, you know what? That's a dog cookie. What made me a Batman fan? Because Batman is badass, that's why. I'm, you know, clearly I'm a Wonder Woman fan, first and foremost, but, um, oh, at the price, $45. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what, I don't know how many, oh, that's 16 and a half pounds. If you want 16 and a half pounds of these cookies, it'll cost you $40, $45. It's not milk bones. No, it's not milk bones. Um, they are like legit people cookies. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but no, I th like Batman to me is like one of the strongest superheroes just because he's so smart like he always has a contingency plan that's why I always like him 
I always like him. Like I grew up on the cartoons. Um, wait, what? I grew up on the cartoons and Batman comics were the only, like a lot of times Batman comics were the only ones that I would read. Um, but it was mostly about like the cartoons that I grew up on between like the regular Batman cartoon, um, Batman Beyond even was a great cartoon. Yeah. Well, Black Knight, look, look, take a look at my shelf. Take a look at my shelf. This is all my, a lot of my Wonder Woman stuff. And I have Wonder Woman shoes. I have a whole Wonder Woman um, costume that I made. I did Wonder Woman for Comic-Con uh, last year and for Halloween as well. Your grandmother had a container of snacks on the table. Oh, so it was like a container of dog snacks and you thought it was people snacks? You thought you were like snapping into a Slim Jim, but it was like a dog treat? That's pretty gross. Because that's, that's me. That's me. See? That's not as bad. You heard it was free food? Here. Hey, Mr. B. Welcome back. <laughs> I, bet, I bet milk bones aren't bad. I don't think milk bones are bad. I don't think I've, I might have tasted a milk bone. Now that I think about it, I probably have tasted a milk bone, like, on a dare or something. The cookie I ate will, willingly. I willingly ate the cookie, but um, I think I may have had a milk bone in my life as well. You thought you were snapping into a Slim Jim and you were eating a damn dog treat. That's, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But if you were in a survival situation, like, and I love watching survival um, shows. If you were in a survival situation, you would be happy to have that uh, jerky. You would be happy to have that. I couldn't find my um, cookies, Mr. B. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my cookies. Why can't we eat the cookie? <laughs> I have to, I cannot, I cannot keep saying gonna eat the cookie. That doesn't even, that doesn't even, that does not sound appropriate. No cookies, no more eating cookies for today. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You'd eat a person before your dog. Man, I didn't mean the whole, wait, Stephanie, I didn't mean the whole, it was so nasty you'd eat leaves first. I'm just saying in a survival situation, and I love watching those survival shows too. Like, in a survival situation, in a survival situation, <laughs> it's not just never eating a cookie for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, you wouldn't know. You would not know. You would not know. You'd be like, are these like diabetic cookies or something? Because they don't taste very sweet. Like, that's all you would think, that they were like some special like diet cookie. You would be like, is this like a vegan cookie? Because it doesn't taste sweet enough. <laughs> you okay, puppy? Um, <laughs> but in a survival situation, if all you had was like the water that your dog drank out of and a bag of dog treat jerky, you could survive. You could survive. You could survive. Dean ate, Dean ate a, um, what do they call it? Um, uh, begging strip. Dean ate a begging strip. Look, drunk. Dog, dog bacon snack. Yeah. He ate a begging strip. Diabetic cookie. Yeah, they have, um, <clears throat> yeah, they have, um, you know, cookies for people with diabetes and they, they don't have like real sugar in them. Oreos are Oreos are my favorite too. I love Oreos. I know, I know. She's looking at me like, but she doesn't like them. Term. She does not like these cookies. She does not like these cookies. And Mr. B, in a survival situation, you may not be able to raid the supermarket, but if you had your dog bowl and like a handful of of dog jerkies, you could survive. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You might not be near a supermarket. 
<clears throat> hey Scooter, is today your birthday? For real? All right, let me sing you. Let me sing you happy birthday. Let me sing you happy birthday. Human tastes like pork. Ew! How would you know that? How would you know that? Ugh. Man, put some sweet bit. I'm so done, Stephanie. <laughs> Sweet baby rays on it. That is so wrong. <clears throat> hey, Von D. Mike, that's your own brain. I'm just saying, you know, if I had a cookie, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but you might not be in your area. What if you're in some remote area? <laughs> but the dog in there. <laughs> I don't know that one real. I do not know that. I do not I, I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't know that song. All right, Scooter, let me get my confetti for you for your birthday so I can give you a proper birthday wish. Hardcore survive What? See, Dean is like Dean is one of these people just out in the woods and stuff. Like you know, like if if you get like lost out in the woods or something, Dean is the person you want to have with you. You'll you'll live. You'll live. If you're with me, I don't know. You might not even make it a day. I'd probably fall off the mountain. I'd probably fall like right off the cliff. Seriously. <clears throat> Shackleton. Two star is good too. Two star knows knows his way around some woods. For real. For real, Z. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, Scooter. Here we go. Dean is like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Oh my god. Collective water with leaves? What? That's too much for me. That's too much for me. My idea of camping, like, is not to go camping. Seriously. Seriously. No, you wouldn't, Miss Notch. You would think that, but no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. All right. Scooter, are you still in here? Are you still in here? Are you still in here? <laughs> What's up, puppy? <clears throat> I don't know if Scooter's still in here. Scooter, I'm gonna do your birthday song for you. Are you still here? <clears throat> There's Scooter. Okay, here we go. And your birthday is actually today, right? All right. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scooter. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Scooter. I hope you have a good day today. The stylish hole is what? <laughs> what? Your mom? What? <laughs> I don't know what Mike is going through. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I needed to know for sure. Oh, all right, Blunt Mover. Have a salad. Have a salad for me. Right. I'm like, I don't know what your mom and my ripped jeans and cookies have to do with anything. <laughs> oh, congrats. That's a big one. That's a big one. Congrats to you. I hope you have a good one. <clears throat> Tale as old as time. Tunes as old as song, 
Finding you can change, bittersweet and strange. Something, something, something. <clears throat> Survive the hot wings. I don't eat wings. I don't eat wings. I don't eat wings. I'm vegetarian. I'm vegetarian. Naruto. What in the world? What in the world? Oh, okay. Talk to type. Yeah. Talk to type will mess you up every single time. Every single time. Like, I do like watching, um, I do like watching survival shows. That's what I was saying earlier, Dean. Like, I, I really like that. Um, Survivor, Survivor Man, like, he was, he's fascinating to me. He doesn't really do the shows anymore. But the fact that he truly goes out just by himself, he doesn't have a camera crew. It's just him and a bunch of cameras, and he sets up these shots. It's amazing to me. Um, so I really liked watching his show. Um, Bear, Bear Grylls, I didn't really care for him. I felt like he was full of it. Oh, right, right, right. No worries. No worries, Black Knight. No wor I used to eat hot wings, though. Now I'll eat, like, um, like I'll make cauliflower. Like, um, like cauliflower, like it's chicken. Like it's, uh, like a, like fried chicken. But it's, like, fried cauliflower, and I'll put, like, buffalo sauce on that and stuff. Barely even friends, then somebody ends. Bends. Unexpectedly. Bear Grylls drinks pee. Yeah, he drinks pee and then he bit into like a live tuna for no reason. A live fish, not a tuna. He bit into like a live fish, like pulled it out of the water and bit it. I didn't appreciate that. That was unnecessary and just wrong to me. So, yeah. I think Fear, Fear Factor is already back, isn't it? Isn't Fear Factor back um, hosted by... Is it Ludacris? Is Ludacris hosting Fear Factor? I love fried cauliflower, Leilani. I was saying, like, I wish that, like, um, Kentucky Fried Chicken or, like, one of those places would make fried cauliflower. Like, that would be amazing to me if they actually made that to, to sell. Love over all lust. What? <laughs> Luda. Yeah. Yes, but wouldn't it be love over lust? Always? If you're going to ask me to spank myself again, then that's going to be a no. <gasps> Fried pickles, Dean. That is one of my favorite things of all time. I saw, I saw your 40, Scooter. I said that's a big one. That's a big one. Congrats to you. That's, that's huge. That's nice. Congrats on that. How do you feel? How do you feel with the 4-0? All Bear Grylls needs to survive is R. Kelly. I can't. I can't. I can't believe somebody wrote that man's name up in my chat, up in my stream. Y'all know that I can't deal with R. Kelly. Y'all know that R. Kelly is a trigger for me because he is a pedophile and he pees on children and he has kept them in a, as a harem and not allowing them to see their family. He has been preying on young kids and young girls since Aaliyah days. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. R. Kelly needs to be locked up. He needs to be locked up. They need to throw him under the jail. People are like, R. Kelly is a musical genius. I'm like, no, R. Kelly is a pedophile and a freak. That's my thoughts on R. Kelly. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. R. Kelly gets my pressure up. Because people have overlooked R. Kelly's uh, perverted ways for way too long. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, what vegan foods do I eat or haven't tried yet? I mean, I pretty much eat, um, I mean, I eat like lots of veggies. I eat, um, I, I do still eat eggs. I haven't been eating them recently because I'm trying to do more vegan stuff, but I'll be back eating that um, soon, I'm sure. Um, exactly, term. <clears throat> I don't know why they forgot about Aaliyah. I don't know why they forgot about Aaliyah. 
Um, I do eat, I, I eat some soy, like I'll eat like some tofu every once in a while. I don't do a lot of the, like the fake meats and things. Um, pulled jackfruit, like they make jackfruit, like, um, like a pulled pork sandwich. So good. It's so good. Like the texture is really good. It tastes really, really good. And you prepare it like the same way, but it's made up, made from fruit. It's made from fruit. I got you, Mr. B. I got you. Uh, can I pass you a Stouffer's? No, all I have is my 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 juice that I had. I have my rest of my uh, swallowed my juice and water. Hey, Grimy. What's up? What's up? What's up? I am gonna get ready to go though, guys. Um, I am gonna get ready to go because I'm I'm hungry. The little bit of um, pizza with no cheese that I had on it earlier it has worn off. So uh, deep fried eggs? No, I don't I don't I don't want deep fried eggs. I don't want deep fried eggs. No, no deep fried eggs. That doesn't even that doesn't even sound right. That sounds no. I can't mess with that. I did have a deep fried Oreo once. That was crazy. 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 Make a meal. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, vegan burgers are good. I'm going to try White Castle. <laughs> this is it's weird that I said vegan and White Castle in the same sentence. They have this thing called an impossible burger, and it kind of tastes like meat. I've had one once before, but now White Castle is serving them, so I'm going to try and go to White Castle and see if I can order, like, one of these and do maybe, like, a video for it um, and show you, like, what this burger looks like. But it's um, an impossible burger at White Castle, and it's not made from meat, but it looks like meat. <clears throat> Deep fried cheesecake. Nah, I can't get with that. Thank you, Stephanie. You have a good night. You have a good night, too. I don't eat chicken, but I used to love Chick-fil-A. Love Chick-fil-A. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that, and thank you for coming through. Again, it's it's good to see your name in chat, so thank you again. Um, and thank you, everybody, for coming through today. Happy birthday again. Happy 40th to you, Scooter. Um, I will be back on Thursday. Um... Thursday, I'm going to be a little late. I will not be on at 3 p.m. because I have some work to do during the day. I have a rehearsal that I have to do. So um, so it'll be late later, but I'm, I'm going to do it on Thursday since I missed last Thursday. So, um, so I'll see you guys on Thursday. I'm not sure what time. Look at my Instagram. Uh, look at my Twitter to see um, if you follow me on Snapchat. I'm glad you caught me, too. Um, term and I'm glad I was able to wake up and see you this morning so it's good to see you always <clears throat> check sandwiches what do I like quick check sandwiches I don't even know what that is I don't know what a quick check sandwich is I don't know what that is <laughs> but, um, but yeah so I'm gonna go but I, I will be back on Thursday I just don't know what time so you know so keep your eyes peeled for me on Thursday. I'm thinking by the time I get out and make it back home, it'll probably be closer to like 4 or 5 or something. So, uh, Oh, thank you, Black Knight. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you as well, no matter how you made your way over here. It's good to see you, and thanks for, um, thanks for, thanks for coming through, and thanks for subscribing. I'm not gonna eat any more dog cookies, Miss Notch. If I do, I will let you know. I will, I'm I'm gonna I have to find them anyway, cause I have a whole bag of things to give my friend for her for his dog. So I have to find that bag. It's around here somewhere. I cleaned up when my family came, and I cleaned up those things, and I don't know where I put them. So I have to find them. Uh, but anyway, you guys have a good night. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. My dog is looking at me like she's pissed off. I think she wants food, so I'm gonna feed her. And I will see you guys, I'll see you guys later. So, have a good night. Bye.